Good evening, you're watching the news from the Salted Oberman Television. First, the headlines. The Gulf Cooperation Council foreign ministers discussed with the U.S. Secretary of State cooperation relations between GCC countries and the United States of America. Sohar Port and Free Zone signed an agreement to establish a project in logistic fields in the Free Zone. The first instance court in Ibri issues a verdict to imprison two accused for eight months and pay fine of 44,000 million reals for selling chicken infected with harm salmonella bacteria. Those are the headlines and now the news in detail. Aspects of cooperation between Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the United States of America within the framework of the existing partnership strategy were the center of discussion of talks held at King Salman Air Base in Riyadh today between their highnesses and excellencies, the GCC foreign ministers and His Excellency John Kerry, U.S. Secretary of State. His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, took part in the meeting. They also reviewed what had been reached with regard to joint cooperation aspects on the outcome of GCC American Summit held in May 2015 in Camp David, latest developments in the region and international efforts to combat terrorism. The Sultan and the United States of America signed a cooperation agreement in the field of science and technology transfer. It came within the scientific development framework and contribution to technology development between the two countries. The agreement was signed in Davos City in Switzerland on behalf of the Omani side by His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, while on behalf of the American side by His Excellency John Kerry, U.S. Secretary of State. The agreement includes organizing scientific visits, training, and joint projects. The two sides also exchange views on a number of issues and latest developments in the region and international arenas. So Har Port and Free Zone signed a new deal with Warehousing Solutions, a newly established company belonging to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, logistic provider, warehousing projects and logistics WPL. His Excellency Sultan bin Salim al Habsi, Chairman of the Sohar Port and Free Zone, as well as Sohar Free Zone CEOs Ander Toit and Jamal Aziz, signed agreement with CEO of WPL. The signing ceremony was attended by VIPs and guests from the public and private sectors, as well as representatives from key diplomatic missions in the Sultan. The signing marks the beginning of the construction of WPL's planned 50,000 square meter warehouse park in the Sahar Free Zone. A further 50,000 square meters has been reserved for phase two, taking the total size of the land lease agreement up to 100,000 square meters. Warehousing Solutions will be constructing already built warehouses as well as bespoke warehousing for other Sahar tenants on site in the Free Zone. The first instance court in Ibri issued a verdict convicting two accused of uh, di different nationalities for the violation of for consuming protection law through manipulation of chicken weights and sale of chicken infected with harm of salmonella bacteria. The court ruling started that, uh, or stated that it shall be published in the local newspaper, which is the first time the judiciary allows the publish the case on the expense of the sentenced. The court also ruled to punish the two accused with three months imprisonment and a fine of 30,000 Omani reals. It also ruled to punish them with one month imprisonment and a fine of 2,000 Omani reals for misdemeanor of not providing the consumer with right information about commodity and misdemeanor of circulation of foodstuff, not compliance to approved standard with prison sentence of three months and fine of 10,000 Omani reals. The judgment states that uh, the penalties against the defendants shall be combined together. The judgment states that all penalties against the defendants shall be combined together in case the accused make it appeal. They are released 
on a, a bail after paying 30,000 marials for each accused unless they are seized for another reason. Still to come on news bulletin, a massive blizzard hit Washington DC in the US, cancelling thousands of flights and affecting millions of people. شاركونا في مهرجان مسقط مهرجان مسقط 2016 ابتداء من الرابع عشر من يناير وحتى الثالث عشر من فبراير 2016 Welcome back to the news from the Sultan of Oman Television. A 13-year-old Palestinian girl was shot dead by an Israeli security guard when she tried to stab him. At a settlement in the Israeli occupied West Bank. It was the latest fatality in an almost four month long surge of violence that has raised concerns of wide escalation a decade after the last Palestinian uprising subsided. A police spokeswoman said initial investigations showed the teenager had fought with her family and left her home with a knife and intending to die. Holding a knife, she ran towards the security guard at the entrance of Antharot settlement and uh, he opened fire at her. Her father arrived at the scene shortly after the incident and was arrested. The girl's mother said there had been no trouble before her daughter left the family home. A tenant, uh, a tent is the Palestinian village of Anata. Chinese President Xi Jinping arrived in Iran on the third leg of Middle East tour aimed at boosting economic ties with the region. State news agency Irna said the Chinese president, who has already visited Egypt and Saudi Arabia, was to meet today with his Iranian counterpart Hassan Rouhani and the Islamic Republic's supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Beijing is Tehran's top customer for oil exports and trade between the two countries was worth $52 billion in 2014. The Iranian Deputy Foreign Minister has told state television that 16 accords, including a strategic cooperation agreement, are to be signed during the Chinese President's visit. A Belgian judge charged the, an 11th person with terrorism-related offences over the deadly Paris attack two days after the suspect was arrested in a raid in Brussels. The prosecutor's office said the man had been charged with terrorist murders and participation in the activities of a terrorist group. A Belgian national who was arrested in the troubled immigrant neighborhood of Molenbeek is being kept in police custody. Ten other people have been charged in Belgium under the investigation into the attacks that killed 130 people and wounded hundreds more in the French capital on November 13th. The suspect was born in 1986, was arrested on Wednesday a day before police carrying out another raid in Molenbeek, detaining a Moroccan national, and no weapons or explosives were found in the raids in Molenbeek. Mm -hmm. In uh, Western Canada, shots uh, rang out at the school, leaving four people dead and several others critically injured in the nation's was such shooting in a quarter of a century. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said, obviously this is every parent's worst nightmare. Trudeau held a news conference in Davos, Switzerland, where he was attending the World Economic Summit to announce the death toll in the remote northern Aboriginal community in Lalohe in the province of Saskatchewan. Trudeau's uh, alias said five people had been killed and two others were critical, uh, uh, in critical condition, but Royal uh, Canadian Mounted Police 
Spokeswoman later revised the death toll down to four. The suspected shooter was taken into custody after police received an emergency call about a person discharging a weapon in the community. Airlines have cancelled more than 7,600 flights as a massive blizzard hit Washington, D.C. yesterday. It will continue over the weekend and is expected to dump as many as 70 centimeters of snow accumulations. At the Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, almost all flights were cancelled last night, except flights to Florida. The public transportation system stopped at night and the suspension may continue for the whole weekend. In Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia, where the blizzard hit most, there were a total of 4,000 snow plows and salt trucks working on the street to clear the snow. At a salt storage went to you units in Washington, D.C., workers were busy loading more than 200 trucks with salt as the blizzard has northward from the East Coast. And the number of people being affected will reach around 85 million. Now on our general weather forecast, to clear skies will prevail over the Sultan with chances of low clouds and fog late at night and early morning in the Governor to Bremi, Lahira and South Sharqiyah and uh, coastal areas overlooking Sea Oman and Arabian Sea. Winds over the coastal area of the Arabian Sea will be northeasterly light to moderate, occasionally active, while rest of the Sultan will have north to northwesterly light to moderate. Seas will be slight to moderate along the coast of the Arabian Sea with a maximum wave height of one and a half meters and it will be slight along the rest of the coast with a maximum wave height of one meter. This is the Salt of Oman Television before we enter sports. Any of the main points once again. GCC Foreign Ministers discuss with U.S. Secretary of State cooperation relations between Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the United States of America. Sohar Port and Free Zone sign an agreement to establish a project in logistic field in Free Zone. And the first court instance court in Avery issues a verdict to imprison two accused for three months and pay fine of 44,000 Omani reals for selling chicken infected with harm salmonella bacteria. And with that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. For all of us here in the newsroom and the studios, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Good night.